Hello my brothers and sisters. How are you guys doing? I hope everyone is fine. You guys know it very well and I'm sure you guys are also facing it like I am facing it here in Thailand. Inflation is here. Imagine today I went to one convenience store, we call it 7-Eleven, to buy a pack of peanuts and I realized that the price has increased. And it's not just in Thailand. It's everywhere. Last time I was talking with my sister back home in Cameroon, who was telling me that things are really, really difficult in Cameroon. That tomatoes that she used to buy for like a uh, hundred francs is now like a hundred and fifty francs. That everything has increased. Inflation is all over the world, and the Sierra Leoneans are facing it very, very seriously. In fact. It got to a level that they said that we've had enough. We are fed up with this government and we want them to be proactive. So they went onto the street and they started protesting. So, but before I continue, please watch this video. Anger and frustration spilled to the streets. Protesters in Freetown and other Sierra Leonean cities wanted their voices heard. We do not have freedom of speech. There's no respect for us, the women, and our economy is down, 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 and the cost of living is very high. Because of it, we are suffering. It didn't end well. The president tweeted saying, As a government, we have the responsibility to protect every citizen of Sierra Leone. What happened today was unfortunate and will be fully investigated. I urge all Sierra Leoneans to be calm. The government also imposed a nationwide curfew. Government hereby declares a nationwide curfew with effect from today, Wednesday, 10th August 2022, commencing at 3 p.m. While it's unknown whether the wave of protests will continue, the United Nations expressed serious concerns over the violence. So did the U.S., while France urged its citizens not to travel to Sierra Leone. Okay, my brothers and sisters, you guys have seen the video, right? Sierra Leoneans were protesting against high inflation in the country. And I really, really understood the whole issue. I really, really feel their pain because anyone living in such a difficult situation will protest. It's, it's, it's really bad, you know. And the thing in Africa that really gets me so, 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 so sad is that the policy in place is so unfriendly to the common person. Policy makers make policies that are so unfriendly to poor people. Yes, the rich ones can manage to afford because they have plenty of money. But the common person or the poor man cannot afford to buy foodstuff when prices are too high. So he or she has no other choice but to protest. That is why they are protesting. And I will hope that the Syrian London authorities, their leaders, will see this and try to solve the problem. They will come out and work hard to find a long-lasting solution to this inflation in Sierra Leone. Because believe me, my brothers, my sister, Sierra Leoneans are suffering. And this cannot keep going on. It needs to be resolved. There must be a solution to this problem. Because it's getting out of hand and people are suffering. Inflation is never a good thing especially to an African country. Yeah, because in Africa, the gap between the rich and the poor is really wide. In Cameroon, for example, is super wide. While the rich can afford almost anything they want, the poor cannot afford anything. So, like I said before, I hope that the 
Sierra Leonean authorities will come out and solve this problem. So my brothers and sisters in Sierra Leone, please share your personal experiences with us about the inflation in your country. And to those of you out there in other African countries, maybe in Cameroon or in Nigeria or in Ghana or in Kenya, how is the inflation in your country? How has this high inflation affected you, your family members, and the people in your community? Please share your experiences with us in the comment section below. We would love to hear what you have to say. Thanks to every single one of you out there for watching this video. We really appreciate it and we plead with you to kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow our Facebook page. Thank you very much for doing just that. Take care and see you in the next one. Goodbye.